Okay, a stone is dropped into the water from a tower of 44.1 meters above the ground. Another stone is thrown vertically down one second after the first stone or first one is dropped. Both the stone strikes the ground or strike the ground at the same time what was the initial velocity of the second stone. Okay, so syempre, para mas mapadali ang buhay natin, wala. Nag-drawing na naman ako. So, yung stone A is si Coli Blow. Stone B is si Coli Orange. So, ang sabi dyan, uh, nag-drop daw si mismong stone. Then, syempre, after one second, ibinato si mismong stone B. Kaya, maglalagay tayo ng initial velocity. Pero, hindi natin alam. Initial velocity niya dito, drain up lang siya, centimeter per second. Pero, syempre, tuloy-tuloy pa rin si stone A. Pero, the case is, Sabi sila lang tumama sa 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 nga yan? sa ground ba yan? sa ground. Yes. So yan. Oh, ito yung ground. Sabi sila lang tumama yan. Ang tanong, uh, ano daw yung initial velocity ni B? Okay, um before that, uh kung makikita natin, may given tayo dito na 44.1 meters. That's one. And then meron tayo ditong binigay din na after one second. Ibig sabihin, bago ibinato si stone B, nakapag-travel na ng 1 second. C si stone A nang drain up lang siya. So magandang point 'yon. Bakit? Kasi pwede nating makumpute yung total time ng trainable ni point uh, ni stone A yung buong 44.1 meters tapos i-minus natin yung 1 second. That means yun yung total time ni mismong stone B. And then by that makukuha na natin yung initial velocity niya. So, okay. Kung yun na yung magiging track natin, pwede natin gawin dyan. Stone A, initial velocity plus 1 half AT square. Initial velocity, drain up lang siya. Then, meron tayong mismong height na trainable niya in 1 second, 1 half times acceleration of 9.81 times 1 second squared. So, S is equal to 4.9. Zero five meters. Eto yung mismo na travel ni A. Pero hindi yan yung mismo uh, na travel time na na travel niya yung four point one. Gami hanapin din natin yun. Okay, para natin mahanap yun. S meron tayo yung four four point one inch velocity. 0 lang naman to 1 half times 9.8 times time squared so t squared t is equal to that is 3 seconds okay so buuin ko lang yung kwento so ang sabi niya dito after 1 second nakapag-travel na ng 4.905 si mismong stone a bago iba to si stone b and then yung total time ng trinabel ni stone a is 3 seconds. Kung 3 seconds lang yan, na-travel na ni Stone A yung 4.9 in 2 seconds. Ibig sabihin, nandito na si Stone A, saka lang ibinato si Stone B. The case is that same time sila tumama sa dito. Ibig sabihin, may 2 seconds para pumunta dito si Stone A and also may 2 seconds para i-travel to ni Stone B. So kung ganun, pwede na natin makompute yung initial velocity niya. Okay, so paano yun? Okay, gamitin lang din natin yung equation na yun. Meron tayong S is equal to BOT plus 1 half AT square. So yun pa rin guys, paulit-ulit lang tayo. Height, 44.1. Initial velocity, which is hindi natin alam. Kaya initial velocity tapos yung time, syempre meron tayong 3 seconds minus 1. 2 seconds na lang yung time na meron siya. Plus 1 half. Tapos ang... Acceleration, 9.81 times 2 squared. So, kung ganun, makukuha natin yung value dyan ng initial velocity, which is 12.24 meters per second. Ito na yung initial velocity ni Stone B para makahabol siya dun kay Stone A. Okay? So, ganun lang yun guys. Kapag merong na-delay, 
Siyempre, kailangan may humahabol. Tapos, same, same time lang sila tatama. So, ano yung initial velocity ni mismong Stone B? Yan na yun, 12.4 meter per second. Next problem. 